mechanical energy calculations generally follow a similar trend in that they start with an object that is at some distance above the ground and the first question would normally be calculate the object's mechanical energy or potential energy at this point. Those two are the same question because the object is not moving. It has no kinetic energy, so the only energy it has is as a result of its potential energy. And so we can calculate its potential energy by seeing that that is the product of the object's mass in kilograms, the Earth's gravitational acceleration constant, and the object's height above the surface or above the ground measured in meters. In this case, that object is 80 meters off the ground, which means that this object has a potential energy of 7,840 joules at this point, 80 meters above the ground. That also, in this case, because the kinetic energy at the start is zero, we can say that the mechanical energy at that point is also 7,840 joules. Now, most of these questions state that there is no friction or air resistance, and as a result, this object maintains that mechanical energy throughout its motion. So in this case, the object is dropped or is falling down that 80 meter incline, but it can also happen that this would be on a frictionless roller coaster or that it rolls down a slope. Either way, if there is no friction, the mechanical energy remains the same. The questions that follow then usually would state something along the lines of calculate the amount of energy or calculate the speed of this object when it is 35 meters above the ground or some height above the ground. And then we answer that question by realizing that the mechanical energy at the start must be equal to the mechanical energy at 35 meters. And as a result, we can say that since we know at the start the kinetic energy was zero, and the potential energy, as we've calculated, was 7,840. We can then use these two formulae to find out what the velocity or kinetic energy was at that point. We know that the kinetic energy is calculated as one-half times the mass of the object multiplied by its velocity squared. Potential energy that remains is then the mass of that object multiplied by gravitation, multiplied by its height above the ground. And we can substitute in, once again, the mass in kilograms. The velocity is our unknown. The mass in kilograms multiplied by Earth's gravitation. Now this object is 35 meters above the ground, meaning it has fallen 45 meters. And we can then solve for our unknown to find that the velocity at a distance 35 meters above the ground is 29.70 meters per second. And that is obviously downwards. We can also then calculate the final velocity of this object before it hits the ground. We would use these same first two lines. The difference now is that we point out that at the end, the potential energy must be zero as well. So we use the same calculation from here, where we say the initial kinetic energy was zero. The initial potential energy remains unchanged. But now, because the mechanical energy at the end is made up of a kinetic energy and a potential energy, but the potential energy is zero because the object is now at the ground and cannot fall any further. So we say that the final potential energy is zero, which allows us to find the final kinetic energy is 7,840 joules, or using the formula for kinetic energy, we can solve for the unknown velocity at that point to find that our velocity must be 39.60 meters per second downward. There can also be all sorts of other questions. For example, what is the mechanical energy at a point or at a certain point in time, say 2.7 seconds after it has started falling? And once again, as long as there is no friction on this object, we know that the mechanical energy must be conserved. And so the mechanical energy from the first point until the very last point is 7,840 joules. All that changes is that mechanical energy in the form of potential energy at the top is converted into kinetic energy as it falls, while the mechanical energy decreases as there's less distance left to fall.